We're waiting for the latest inflation number, Ross. What do we got? has increased surprisingly to 4% annually. So just to explain, it was previously in uh, May to May, 3.5%. Uh, looked like it had been coming down. Sorry, March to March. April to April had been 3.6%. But then going into May to May, so this is the period between May and May, it's coming at 4%. Now, the markets have been expecting 3.8%. So this is much more significant than expected. The Australian dollar off the back of this this is immediately jumped because this again adds more weight to suggestions the Reserve Bank eventually will have to raise interest rates in order to quell inflation. Um, but the other issue is also that uh, even the Australian stock market has taken another leg downwards off the back of this, again suggesting that the markets are not really happy with this inflation number they're seeing. You can see it here, down by now almost 0.8 of a percent now today. It had been down by just a little over half a percent before this number dropped just in the last few seconds. There's your Aussie dollar. As I explained, it's actually jumped off the back of this decision. Now, so this monthly inflation number is not the key inflation number the Reserve Bank looks for. But if you look through these numbers, most things are starting to rise in price. Fruit and vegetables, food products over the month, tobacco products, that's due to increased excises there as well. But there are other stubborn things in here. Insurance and financial services up by almost 8% during the past year. So Kieran, this number is a surprise to the markets. This number also adds more pressure on the Reserve Bank to consider interest rates. And as we said previously, it now appears as though the August meeting of the Reserve Bank appears live to a rise in interest rates. And you said it's not the key inflation number the bank looks for, the, the central bank. That's the, the quarterly number, isn't it? And there will be a quarterly number between now in that August meeting, Ross? There will. In fact, that quarterly number will come on July 31st. And that gives a broader uh, look at inflation in Australia. This one gives a snapshot. And so it's not the complete set of numbers that the Reserve Bank would really like to see or wait for. But the truth is that this number gives um, a real indication of the trend. And the trend of inflation is up and not down. And remember, the Reserve Bank's mandate is to try and maintain full employment but also to control inflation and to get it down. The troubling issue is that for the last three months at least, inflation on this monthly measure has been rising and not falling. And so that is a trend that the Reserve Bank cannot ignore. It's a, it's a trend really the government can't ignore either because it means that in the yeah. face of everything, it is actually stronger out there in terms of price rises than many would like. We saw on that, that graph, uh, as you articulated, Ross, the, the, the trend was down, down and then plateau and then back up now with that four. The graph sort of tells the story, doesn't it? And, Ross, I ask you that in the context of an RBA timetable now, which is not monthly. They meet less. Is that an issue now, given they probably, you know, if they were meeting monthly, we might see something sooner rather than later? It's true. They don't meet in July. They actually meet in August. So that's the reason why they'll have time to see that quarterly number. Um, and, and it really gives them time to see other indicators, such as employment, uh, to see how that is trending as well. Um, but, you know, just to understand that the reason why this monthly indicator was given is because the Reserve Bank wanted more timely information on a monthly basis. So have a look at this. So this is the way in which the market is interpreting that number that's just come out. You're actually watching this live number coming through. Through, you can see that the acceleration and the fall in the ASX is even greater. The money markets are now pricing in more rapidly the expectation of a rate rise in August as a result of this. This is a trend, as I say, that the Reserve Bank cannot ignore. Um, it called for these monthly numbers. It's got the monthly numbers. And you'd have to think on that trend that you and I are talking about here, Kieran, it's hard to ignore those monthly numbers when they're giving a pretty clear signal the prices are not coming down as the Reserve Bank and Treasury and the Treasurer expected they would. Ross Greenwood, thanks.